Hey, what's going on guys? Nick and Knight here with the Clash Army and today we are back and we're gonna revisit my Town Hall 6 and see what's going on with it. So right here we're just loading up and boom there was an enemy raid. So I kind of want to see what my defense that I built has been doing um, for some defense logs. So let's go here and show some replays. We'll just start with the bottom one and uh, build up. So I'm showing half a million loot. It's because I, uh, I, don't, I don't have time to play my secondary accounts you know as much as my primary so i've got my primary clash primary boom secondary clash secondary boom it uh it makes those a lot to check into all of them but right here let's see how this defense will up looks like the giants made their way right to the center there um but the compartments two of the compartments look like they held up pretty nicely um as soon as i get some of these walls past you know level one hopefully they do a little bit better and also have like a level one mortar over there hopefully they start doing a little bit better we'll be doing some of the walls in this episode today so here we go, there's an archer left, and just boom, a couple cannon shots, they should go down, or three archers left, whatever. Alright, so we lost a good amount of loot there. Let's first uh, collect all this loot that's just sitting out here. All these are full, I believe. If not, they're very close. Um, let's collect all the gravestones, and you know, just check in with the base here. So we're rocking 378,000 gold after we rearm the traps, 371. Let's throw all these builders on some obstacles and start clearing them while we move into defense replay 2. As you guys know, I'm saving up for my uh, fourth builder to get it legit, and that'll cost, uh, what is it, a thousand gems? Yeah, yeah, it's one thousand gems, it's not that much. We can, we're almost there, we can do this. All right, so this is the second replay, let's speed through it here. Um, just a couple archers, I don't know what this person's thinking, a couple of giants. Uh, going for the elixir over the gold, that's kind of confusing. I would attack from the right side where those level one walls make uh, the corner right there, and just send the giants in and distract the mortar. And then uh, take that gold up. You can get three storages. There are three collectors right there. Um, nothing doesn't look like too much was lost there. Just forty thousand gold. Elixir is not as important, uh, but it is still important at these early stages when things aren't maxed out. Let's zoom in here and take a look at the next one. Um, got some archers. Got some giants. Again, uh, this guy's going for the town hall. Looks like he wants some stars, or maybe he just wants that auto win. Uh, let's see. Takes out the town hall. And he gets uh, all right, a couple giants from the bottom. Oh, going for the elixir again. People seem to be attacking this base from the bottom. Now, I don't know why that is, but uh, let's take a look here. Um, archers. Okay, he's got a good amount of archers, and it looks like they're the same level as mine, I think. And they're going to be ripping up some gold right there. So what is it? That's three for three people who uh, decided to go for the bottom of the base first, if not the right bottom-ish. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of rebalancing here. So let's wait for this replay to finish. Um, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. He just wanted to wait, I guess, to see what happened. Nothing really happened there. Let's zoom in here. I'm going to go ahead and move um, some bombs down to the bottom here. So if they do start to attack the bottom, then they'll have to deal with four bombs exploding on them. And that may not weaken them, but if anything, by the time they get to the mortars or wizards, hopefully that'll be able, enough to destroy them. Now it's time to start upgrading some walls. Um, what I'm doing with this account is throwing all the gold I always get into walls first. I'll try to keep the defenses going too, but I also think it's more important, if I could max out to level 6 walls, you see right there I have a couple level 6 walls, from when, right when I hit Town Hall 6, I started making level 6 walls, and then I realized that I had a bunch of uh, new walls to build, hence why I have all these level 1s, but we're going to go through here level 2, see how many we can really knock out. In the beginning of the game, it's you're, I'm always like, I wish there was just an upgrade all button, then you get to the end of the game and you're like, that button would never be pushed. It's just in the beginning here when these ones are really basic. Um, this first level one looks like it's a, it's a thousand to go to two, and then I'm going to throw my builders on my level one collector. So I still have one builder free. Um, I can't upgrade anything in the lab. We're going to go ahead and keep going here with level three walls next. All right, level three is all around. And they're starting to get more uniform. I do have six, five, and three right now. Uh, keep going down the line here with three, three, three. That's 5,000 gold each time. I'm predicting that we'll be able to get uh, all of them to level four here. Unless we do, we'll see how we want to upgrade this. So let's keep going down the line. And they should just make it so like you could hold upgrade or something and drag and select. Maybe that'd be a good way to do it. But realistically, it's just like an hour of your time. By the time you probably get to level like eight is spent actually tapping upgrade but then after that like i said you're never going to use that wall upgrade button there so keep upgrading here going we've got all level threes except one over here yeah let's get that guy to three and then let's go right to four and let's go to five so let's bring them all from three to five because that's just going to use the gold quicker honestly i just want to finish this all right we're going to get some gold we're going to go boom boom let's see if we can get fives all the way down this wall here they're looking pretty pricey already so 
We're only going to get a couple gold balls and get the rest of these four. It's getting a little more uniform though, and now I only have, you know, four levels of walls. Three, fours, fives, and six. Uh, we'll try to throw some new gold that we win in some battles here into those walls as well. So I'm rocking archers, and then uh, gobs, and then barb. So it's just a barch plus gobs, or B-A-G, bag. It's a bag army here. So here we go. Ooh, first is a Town Hall 10, and he's got no loot for a Town Hall 10. If I see a Town Hall 10, I should be looking at least half a, a quarter million of each. Um, that guy only had like 76,000 of each, so really nothing too crazy there. Keep searching here, and let's see what we could find. Uh, nah, 2,000. 9,000, but I don't feel like spending gems to find new bases, so we're forced to attack this one. Alright, so first off, I see some uh, exterior buildings. We don't want to forget about those. Throw the barbs down. Throw a barb down in front of the clan castle. And now we're going to go ahead and throw some barbs down over here. Archers behind them. Hopefully we can take out those two archer towers. Uh, I don't know how exactly we'll get all the loot in this space. Because that mortar will probably rip up my uh, low-level troops. But we'll go ahead and try. So right here, archers on the exterior to pick some of these buildings off. Uh, the bottom looks pretty exposed. I think we can take this town hall. I don't think the mortar will rip them up too much. And right there, ooh, the mortar goes down. Nice. I was able to swarm enough archers in there to take it down quickly. I think this is going to be a three star now. There's only one cannon left. It can only do so much. The town hall right there is down, and the cannon is about to go down as well. Just so many archers shooting so many arrows. And boom, boom, boom. We're about to see four buildings all drop within like two seconds here. Boom, boom, boom. Three stars, and we're moving on. I guess the cups are nice. It'd probably be better to go up a little bit, maybe to like... Silver one, maybe find some better bases up there. But again, I'm not too concerned as I max out my collectors and pumps early on so that uh, right now they're at 10. They can go to 11. Uh, actually, I don't think, I don't know if they can go to 11. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I've got the elixir, but I don't think you can do it till Tunnel 7. But uh, I, uh, I max those out early so that every time you check in, you've always got something to throw your builders on. We're using that other builder right now to finish up some bushes and stuff. Um... I'm going to eventually throw him on to, you know, or I'm just checking here. Ooh, I can build the spell factory that I had forgotten about. So where should we put it? I think just up here is fine. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I'm going to keep the big bushy trees. Those ones with the three big green balls on them. I'm going to keep those, and I'm going to keep the big stones, and I'm going to remove everything else. On my other account, I keep the Christmas trees and uh, those, you know, the evergreens. So the Christmas trees that come during the winter update and the evergreens. On this one, I thought I'd just mix it up. Let's see if we can attack Maginot Line. Um, there's a mortar, two cannons. I'd probably be able to rip it up, but let's see what we've got in the clan castle. Oh, minions. And there's no air defense on that base, so I guess we could just go in and take it out here. So we've got uh, two cannons, a mortar, boom, throw the minions down. And now we'll just try to just barge these cannons. Oh my gosh, so many bombs right there. I did not know they put that many bombs there. I'll drop all my archers right behind. And hopefully the barbs can act like a little bit of a shield to my archers. If anything, this is a three-star because of those minions, though. So I wonder if just what I had would have been able to beat it, but I don't really think so. Not with those bombs that I didn't realize were there. I forgot how many bombs and traps they put in the single player, but you definitely got to test the waters. Um, anyway, guys, I'm just going to keep this, this uh, beginner Let's Play account going. I feel like we've got a lot of high-level content, so I thought, you know, maybe some people are still new. We should uh, play a lower-level account on this channel. If you want to see my high-level account when I'm pushing to champs or, you know, maxing out heroes and stuff like that, hit up my main channel, youtube.com slash teachboombeach, but I will keep this beginner one going on the Clash Army. Hope you guys enjoyed this check-in on my Tunnel 6. We're going to get these walls all up to 6 soon and then max out some defense. I'm Nick and Knight, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.